Okay, here's the second part of this uh, wonder trade adventure that we're on just now. Some really bad things happened last time. <laughs> we ended up trading away an Ursa Ring for a love disc. Uh, we gave a Flareon away for something real bad. And we ended up with this horrendous... Um, where are we? Yeah, uh, Fletchling, level 11. So that's going back into the trade pile because that's not just not good etiquette really, is it? Someone else can feel my pain. I'm going to have to straighten up here. There we go. I tweaked the settings a little bit to make sure, well, to see if the white balance could be any better because it kept on going really bad. I would very much so like to invest in one of the um, uh, capture devices for... Yeah, slightly better. One of the capture devices for 3DS XL, but it's uh, real bad and really expensive. It's a good couple of hundred pounds, which I just don't have. Well, there's Pikachu. Which will probably go back into the trade. But I don't feel bad about getting a Pikachu. So we'll go back into the Wonder Trade. And if that Pikachu is a higher level than the one I have, I'll probably just keep it and put my own in. Because I am scum like that. No, it's level 3. Bye bye. So we're searching for another partner here. This game is a whole lot of fun. I really enjoy it. If I had a way to stream it, I would very much like to do so. But I can't stream it, so I'm just going to make little mini videos every now and again. Oh god, the white balance is so bad. Oh well. Staravia. That's alright. It can evolve into a powerful star raptor. That is a good find. This um, session is already worth it, in my opinion then, because that's, that's a good find. I really do like Staravia. Doesn't mean I'm going to keep it, but, you know. Yeah, I think I'll trade away this Steelix. I'm feeling generous. Wonder Trade Gods can have my Steelix. Oh, technically it's not my Steelix, I traded it for a love disc. But, you know, someone who wasn't clever enough to use the rod to find a love disc, now they have a free Steelix. Okay, so this guy is going to get himself a Steelix. What's he giving me in return? I'm gonna, I just have a feeling I'm going to get scummed so hard right now. And this guy is going to laugh all the way to the bank. Oh, okay. Armaldo? No? Anorath, yeah. Well, at least it's um, one more of the Pokedex, but still. For a Steelix, you know, not exactly great. I do want to start Wonder Trade. And just basically send this Anorith back in. Because I don't want it. Is it evolving to an Armaldo? Is that a thing? Or am I just making shit up again? <laughs> I really want someone to send me a Mareep, a Flaffy, or an Ampharos. That's what I would like. Because I have Ampharos tonight. And nowhere to use it, unfortunately. And for us, one of my favourite Pokemon as well, so that'd be really nice. Team could use an electric type. Yep, there's a scatter bug. This guy's a dick. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would quite like um, a Mareep. Even if I have to train it up, it won't really bother me too much. You think they would have made um, Raichu and I? I think they're missing out on a, a trick there for a Mega Raichu. Give people a reason to use Pikachu again. But in all honesty, he's kind of a bit redundant. Unless you have a light ball, then I suppose he's okay, but even still. So this scatterbug is going right back into the trade pool because I'm not dealing with his bullshit. <laughs> so far I've given away a uh, Steelix and uh, what else did I give away? I can't remember. It was literally five minutes ago, I have the memory of a so. Okay, be gone scatterbug from existence. Or to be a flip baby. Not another pan charm. Excellent. Completely useless. I don't plan on using pan charm or whatever the evolution's called. Because they're really not that great. Spoilers. Mega Blaziken um, <laughs> is just completely broken. It's going to completely change um, the way this game is played, I think. Mega Blastoise is good as well. I'm having a lot of fun with the Mega Evolution so far. It just kind of sucks that I have to wait on Gardevoir and Night. That's hard to say. Gardevoir and Night. Until post game. This person is called Vice. It says, Hi, I am Vice. From Japan, Tokyo. Tokyo, Japan. Not Japan, Tokyo. We'll have a pan cham and give me something good. Gumi! Yes! It's beautiful. Beautiful. What a very nice man. That's going straight into my party. <laughs> I'm going to have a team of absolute powerful threats. Okay, first things first, that Gumi needs to... I need to check his nature and stuff. Organise boxes. Level 1 Gumi already knows Dragon Breath, Rain Dance, Flail and Body Slam, so that's impressive. Summary... It is... A neutral nature, I think. Yeah, serious nature. Which is neutral, I think. Yeah, I can't see any colours. And it has sap sipper. That is fantastic. Mono dragon type. Gumi, ladies and gentlemen. This is all good. This has all been worth it. <laughs> Definitely been worthwhile. So I don't feel so bad about giving away that Steelix now. Trade. Oh no. Pressing the wrong button. Back the way. Wonder trade. So needless to say, that Gumi will not be being released back into the pool. <laughs> That's one that I actually do want. I will release my other Pan Cham, however. With this box that I have, I could end up having a Flygon, a uh, Garchomp, Mega, well, Mega Garchomp, I suppose, Mega Blaziken, um, oh, just all sorts. I end up having one powerful party. Gudra, when it eventually evolves. So we're just finding, yep, we've got another guy from Akita, Japan. I think that's how you say that. Can't really see it. I'd love to be able to pronounce his name, but I don't uh, read Weeaboo or whatever you want to call it. So for my Pan-Chan troubles, I'm getting a Pidgey. 
<laughs> Doesn't matter how to do me. I almost burst into song with doesn't matter had sex there. Okay, that Pidgey can go back into the wonder trade. Cool. I don't like it. Where are you, Pidgey? Oh, that's Gumi. That's not setting Gumi back into the trade pool. Pidgey, there we go. I might just send my Del Fox into the pool. <laughs> Lol. No thank you. I wonder what wonderful thing Wonder Trade will have in for store for me. Oh, okay, there's another Japanese guy who's about to be very disappointed with his um, trade. Yeah, Pidgey's level one. So it's been bred. I at least breed a good Pokemon. If you're gonna do that, a Jura. Nice. I mean, that's helping to fill up the Pokedex, right? Very nice indeed. This reminds me of um, opening packs of Pokemon cards when I was younger. You know, that, that, that's exactly what this reminds me of. You don't have a clue what you're going to get, and you're either going to be really happy or really disappointed. So Durant is level 44. It knows a lot. Someone's about to be very happy with their trade. <laughs> yeah, that's the main purpose of this, to try and get some cool starters, so I can have a complete Pokedex, and yeah, just to complete the Pokedex, really. I don't really want a Durant for any reason, so I'm happy sending that back in the pool and then someone's going to have a level 44 Durant, so that's going to make them happy. Ah, someone from Germany. It's probably going to give me something horrendous for this really good Durant. Called it. <laughs> Yay. No one wants your pan sage. But someone else is going to get it. <laughs> yeah, just a quick look at my team again. There's Del Fox. Blastoise. The baby is not on my team, that needs to go back in the trade pool. Umbreon, Talonflame, and Amora. Okay, Fla baby, you can you can go now. You're not wanted. Fla baby sounds like a ghetto name. Yo, Fla baby. I heard you was dipping with Frey Frey and Jaiswa and Shiniqua. <laughs> Almost oddly racist, but not intended to be. <whistles> That's what Flababy says. Goodbye, Flababy. I got Pichu. Well, it's one more for the Pokedex. Pichu is going back in the trade. Pool, as I like to call it. Because I don't want anything to do with it. Where are you? Show yourself. Oh, he's in my party. Did they pop that Abra up for trade? 
Actually, I may train that, train out to Kadabra. Yeah, that's what I'll do. At some point, I'll train that up to Kadabra and then pop it on trade so that someone gets a powerful Alakazam. Joss from Belgium. What do you have for me, Joss? I love disc. You penis. This man actually licks multiple ball sacks. It's not fun. As much as I hate to do it, it's getting released back into the um, pool because I don't even want it stinking up my party. I think Love Disc is the new magic art. You know, at least with the magic art, you get the payoff. Love Disc. No. Love disc is just real bad all the time. Okay, cars driving outside. Interrupting my video. So we're searching for a partner who's no doubt going to be very upset. Someone called Yar from Japan. Yar. Goodbye, love disc. Please don't ever. Oh dear God. No. Yeah, well, jokes on you, fucker. <laughs> Needless to say, we are both upset with that decision. Karma kind of sucks sometimes. And she's not Karma. I traded away something semi decent for a love disc. Didn't I? Maybe. Could have been a thing. Evil. 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 Okay, someone from Japan with, you know, the characters as the name, so I couldn't tell you what his name is. Goodbye, love disc. Hello, Spinda. Oh, okay. Spinda helps move the Pokédex along a bit. Probably would have caught one later on in the game anyway, but you know. That's pretty nice. And for my last trade, I think I'll just pop Spinda back into the into the mix because I don't really want it. It was a nice thought, nice gesture. Level 26, copycat, faint attack, psi beam and hypnosis. It's actually got a nice move pool. However, it has no place in the team of Ewan. I'm hoping this will connect and trade before my time runs out for the video. <laughs> it should be fine though. Okay, we have someone from New York saying, Come at me bro, and his name is Angel. Yep, confirmed that is a guy. Cool story bro. I have a spinder. And he gave me a Fletchling. You know, it wouldn't be fitting unless both videos ended with me getting a fletchling. <laughs> oh well. You win some, you lose some, but anyway, net gain. We got a Gumi this time. Lost to Steelix, gained a Gumi. Those are the highlights of this video, if it's TLD, DW. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, please do leave a like or a comment to see if I should make some more, because I'm quite happy making them, they're pretty easily done. Quality's not great, I'm aware of that, but you know, it's the content that matters, I guess. So, I will see you all next time.